through history, a lot of change happened to the message. A lot of uh, 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 misconduct happened in the Muslim world. Uh, there is uh, uh, a lot of things not the same as it was in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the worst of all changes, uh, yes, it is bad that we see uh, a lot of changes when it comes to uh, the manners of the people, uh, the culture and the greed and the... Uh, um, you know, the, there is no mercy as it, it used to be. People not merciful to one another. Um, we see a change in the, uh, a lot of changes in many different areas. People don't pray as much, don't uh, fast as, as they should be. Um, but you know what is the most important thing that, or the most dangerous change is the change in belief. And through the course of history, there's a lot of changes happen in the belief of Muslims even to the core of the religion, which is la ilaha illallah, as we're going to see in the course. And guess what? Victory, support, aid, um, a good life were promised to those who have a good belief. A good belief, an excellent belief. A complete salvation. It's for those who their belief is correct. So it is so important in a personal level uh, to teach this course, in my opinion, uh, and to study this course uh, and these subjects. Uh, I, I personally um, always remind myself that the thing that will save me the most on the Day of Judgment is my correct belief. I, I, I really do believe, no matter how much sins a person may committed or lacked, uh, lacked in, in fulfilling the obligations, that correct, strong belief will elevate you in the Day of Judgment. I'm always worried about the corrupt belief. I'm always worried to meet Allah while I believe in Him in a way which is wrong, which is not correct. Because no matter how many good deeds you have, your corrupt belief will bring you down. In this course, uh, uh, I hope that will inspire us in a family level, community level, uh, to know what are our priorities when we teach our kids about Islam. It is not right that we have a generations who are now old, but basic things they don't know. The problem is it's not a shame to ask about these things. But what is wrong that where, where are the parents? Where is the society? It's a shameful that we did not make these things clear. I'll never forget when I was in Umrah trip, with the Maghrib Umrah trip, the blessed voyage trip, uh, somebody came to me and he said, uh, uh, Sheikh, I want to ask you, I came with you to this uh, uh, trip. I'm now in the process of uh, a city. I'm a man who is over 50, okay? Uh, and I still don't know why should I love the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All my life, I, I was told that we love the Prophet, but I don't know why. I don't know if I love him even. Another person told me, Sheikh, I, I really want to be honest with you. I don't know why I should worship Allah. It's, 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 very, it's very hard for me. It's great that the person asks. It's never too late. But it is, it is something that's so alarming that we don't teach our children Tawheed and Aqidah. So I hope this course will help you and enable you to lay this foundation strong in the heart and the mind of your children in the way that they can understand it. Protect you from these false ideas and beliefs which is so widespread, especially lately. And I'll say this, uh, uh, and no taking pleasure in saying it. Unfortunately, we have a lot of activists, a lot of du'at, a lot of speakers today. They don't even deserve to be called student of knowledge. Who promoting the idea of promoting uh, uh, and underplaying the dangers of shirk. 
and uh, no care for teaching aqeed and making the issue of belief and creed you know it's like the issue of should we wipe over socks or just leather uh, uh, shoes and he said this is like should i pray to allah alone or to pray to allah and someone else that's sad that's that's a very dangerous route I made a quick survey over how many classes taught across the nations uh, in Aqidah and Believe and, and Creed. And I found it very little, very few. And this is not correct. We get distracted by, by, the, by things, uh, uh, in my opinion, less, impor uh, 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 less important and sometimes not beneficial. Why are we missing the opportunity to talk about the things that what matter the most and never get bored by repeating this concept because constantly a shaitan try to uh, uh, make you slack in the area of creed and belief. Hopefully this will help us to stop that trend. Uh, I don't know if a trend or not, uh, too big of a word, but it will help us to um, slow down some of these uh, the cool thing to die which is oh i'm agnostic i'm atheist i don't know if i believe in god you know prove it to me you know i i i, I don't know if there's any why there is god or all these things you know what what i think it, it, people talk about oh all these people leaving islam and these doubts we need to refute you know what for me it's never was about the doubt and I say this again and again, it's never about the doubts that they have and the logic that they bring or the points that they bring against religion or belief. You know what it is? It is the lack of strong belief. It is because our Iman is so, our faith is so weak. That's why anything can knock this down, knock this wall down. That wall that you have in your, in your heart against these doubts is so weak. So any wave can crush it. But if you have that strong belief, it doesn't matter even if you don't know what's the answer for this claim. You know what? I, Abu, Abu Bakr doesn't know how the Prophet ﷺ, uh, traveled that distance, but it didn't matter for him. Because his belief was established. Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah said, the true secret behind the strength of the, the strong iman and belief that the Sahaba had and this is something that really worth reading in, in, uh, uh, in, in uh, Madaraj Salikin. He said the, the, the real secret behind it was that when they became Muslim, they understood really who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. They understood the meaning of Allah's names and attributes. And that when they said Allah He's the only one worthy. They knew who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. What qualities that he has. And that made them so confident. So strong. Because this real strength comes from the most, the strongest one ever, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Qawi. Okay. Um, I hope this course will help in a community level to set our priority correct when it comes to what message, what classes, what subject that we focus on with our children, our youth. Uh, I do believe that um, going back to the basics of Tawheed, it will enable us to unify the Muslim community. Because as one of my elders used to say, the word of Tawheed or Tawheed is the foundation to, to unify the Muslims, to unify uh, the community. There's a lot of people raising doubts and, and, and unfortunately with the world of internet today and the globalization of information, uh, people have questions and, and even about the core uh, issues of religion. And through this course, we'll answer so many of these uh, issues that are raised. 